obviously Shakiri does not like the fact that her fellow athletes have not come out publicly supporting her. But in fact, Thomas is feeling hurt. Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Fans, you all can agree that the Olympics will never be the same without Shakira Richardson. And she is letting the world know that the Olympics will not be the same, Twitter will not be the same without Shakira Richardson. She has it back at her teammate Gabby Thomas who had expressed her concerns or disappointment over the fact that some persons have decided to boycott the Olympics because of Shakira's ban. But before we get into the details, we see that you have been watching and liking our videos. We also want you to be part of the Sports DTM family by clicking that subscription button. If that subscription button is still red, it simply means you have not yet subscribed. So what are you waiting on? Click that button and welcome to the Sports DTM family. As you all know, Shakira Richardson has been suspended for 30 days for a doping violation. A lot of her fans has stated that they will be boycotting the Olympic Games because she was not allowed to participate. Gabby Thomas, the 200 meters champion, has expressed her concerns. She said that it really hurts to see so many black people choosing not to watch the Olympics this year. There are so many black athletes who have put in years of hard work for this moment, myself included. That was Gabby's first statement. Additionally, she said, I worry some of the anger and dismay may be displaced. The Olympics and those at the IOC have nothing to do with current events taking place. That's what Gabby said. And apparently, Shakiri took that personally and Shakiri it back by saying, athletes that haven't and will never beat me have a lot to say about or surrounded my situation when most of them have said nothing to me showing their character that you all don't see behind the race the attention that is on track now and was because of very very few names so if that's where fans support lay you can't be mad at me I am Rimari Williams, Jamaica national striker. Everybody, go ahead and check out Sports Down the Middle. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Adrian, talk to me. Who is Gabby Thomas and why is she being attacked by Shakiri? Yes, Kurt. Gabby Thomas is the second fastest woman all time in the 200 meters after running a blistering race at the US Olympic trials in the same event. But she also runs the 100 meters and has been selected as a member of the 4x100 meters relay team having finished fifth at the US trials. Obviously, Shakiri does not like the fact that her fellow athletes have not come out publicly supporting her. But in fact, Thomas is feeling hurt about some of the comments being made from persons about boycotting the Olympic Games, having worked hard over the years to qualify. And as such, Shakiri is going at her for that. Ricky, talk to me. What's the genesis of this and why the fans are planning to boycott the Olympics? This thing began when Gabby Thomas decided to, you know, speak out rightfully about the those so-called fans who would rather 
boycott the Olympic Games than to enjoy the Games. She rightfully decided to speak out because an event that has been going on since 1896 and only stopped because of World Wars 1 and 2. The, the fans would rather see this, would rather boycott this event than to see the event happen and enjoy the, the festivities. Gabby Thomas rightfully spoke out and to see that the so-called fans want to boycott this event because Shakiri basically weeded herself out of the event. Gabby has a right to speak out. I mean, how is it that real, true track fans want to see an, an event like this postponed? Any real track fan would want this event to go on. And Gabby Thomas was saying that, in her opinion, she thinks that the, the so-called fans are selfish. I mean, a whole lot of persons have come out in support of Shakiri celebrities we see congresswomen speaking out about this shakiri knows the rules shakiri knew the rules and to see her coming now and behaving as if she is being wronged or i said the fans come out behaving as, as if she's being wronged using the race card bring bringing up michael phelps this is just pure foolishness and gabby thomas has a right to talk because she is now an Olympian. The fans want to boycott this Olympics because they're favorite. And some of these people are not even fans, as I said, because no true fan would want to see this event or no true fan would want to boycott this event. Right? Shakiri weeded herself out of the competition. So I think all this so-called woke behavior, all this so-called um, protesting should stop because it's nobody's fault but Shakiri. Raymond, how does this sort of problem or beef between athletes affect the chemistry or athletes' performance in track and field? Yes, Kurt, the current problem that faces US um, relay team, especially from a chemistry standpoint, you know, some might argue that and probably, you know, seek joy and comfort in what is you know happening to us you know some might feel like yeah there's more power to jamaica however you know track and field enthusiasts might might differ and actually want to see a uh, good competition in a sense um you know it's back and forth or beef want a better word between um shakari and gabby you know teammates you know it's it's kind of unfortunate you know although shakari won't be representing the us you know the back and forth beef that they put out you know on social media is a problem that might affect team chemistry for sure in an individual sport we know you know it's competitive and stuff like that and persons with with true words of want a better word you know true words and speak out and, and you know kind of build build certain level of competition and almost you know you know build certain awareness and excitement to the race but when it comes on to to relay and teamwork because that's the only teamwork settings in right now in, in, in track and field that really is set up. Um, they need to rally around something, you know, right now is not so much the US flag um, and, and, you know, the race thing is another thing. You need to rally around something. And I almost think that, you know, you don't want too much negative um, things to affect the relay team at all and the chemistry that is expected to build. And as such, you know, it's, it makes sense you just leave that out, the whole beefing aspect. And so we'll have a good game. We'll have a good game on a strong relay team and competition, especially from a neutral standpoint. You know, you want full on competition. And so, you know, you, we wouldn't want to sit in Jamaica in any shape or form with, with beefing of our athletes at all, especially when it comes down to relay. You want smooth transition because you have to, in unison, especially um, exchanging the butter and stuff like that. There you have it, Sports DTM fans. Another episode of Sports Down the Middle. US track star Shakira Richardson and Gabby Thomas both at each other. So let us hear from you by leaving your comments in the comment section below. What's your thoughts on this? Leave all those comments in the comment section below. And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. 
and to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of them friends to come and join the sports etm family this has been another episode of sports down the middle be blessed